What's going on, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Summon Up with the Summoners. It's your boy Damon and Katoya. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife are here for another episode. And we are recording this in December. Tis the season. Tis the season to be mm. jolly. Come on now. Uh, we're diving right into it here. We're talking about Christmas. Last year we talked about Christmas. We got more things to talk about. If you celebrate Christmas, I'm sure you are uh, holiday talking about... Holiday season. Yes, in general. Holiday season in general. We celebrate Christmas as the Sumner family. And that's what we're diving into today. But before we do, as always, we don't do anything without saying thank you to you for listening, for watching, for supporting, uh, all that jazz here. So we got another review over on Apple Podcasts. What we got this week? We have a, po- a review from... Mm-hmm. I believe this is uh, A.E. Quinn, mm-hmm. Amelia. Mm-hmm. Good friend says, of the Don't show. Don't sleep on this podcast. Come on. Five stars. Huge fan of everything the Summers do. Kind, authentic, and funny. What we all need right now. Come on. Thanks. Come on. Really appreciate that. It's nothing like, it's like when you get on Facebook and all your words, your worlds collide. Mm. You have elementary school yeah. teacher, yeah. elementary <laughs> friend, yeah. your mom's BFF, yeah. someone you met one Everybody. time at a camp. One time at a camp. So these a reviews are strangers. sweet. I know you're like, man, I have no idea. I just met you, right? And yeah. so that's what reviews feel like. They feel like this, oh man, look at everybody from everywhere. So thank y'all so much for taking the time to review. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Thank you, Amelia. Yes. And it's the holiday season. It just makes you feel good. It does. I just feel it better does. thinking about it. It does. That means possibly for many of us, more time off. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we coming off of a break and we like... Still talking yeah, about when's the next one. We'll take some more. Immediately when Thanksgiving over, Dang was like, all right, just 14 more days. Just like that. Just, all right, two weeks okay. in and okay. I can check out. <laughs> like I work a regular job, so I don't know how it's supposed to work, but I'm putting some time about in. 20. Got about twenty more days. <laughs> Got about twenty more days over there for her. That's okay. It's okay. It's my greatest regret about not teaching anymore. It's yeah. I mean, it's you to know, not it has all pros. The breaks. <laughs> yep. Well, as America, we could use more breaks. Okay, America. I mean, just we work too hard over here, man. We work right. too hard over here. Health insurance should be included. Maternal, in paternal at least leave. like at least like some type of basic basic. Stuff. Like if you like, hey, I can just afford the basic plan. I'll take what you got free. And you like want deluxe care and stuff, you pay a premium. Mm-hmm. But the baseline? Base. Baseline. Yeah. Absolutely. Along with more time. Period. So, holiday season is here. Holiday we get time season off, is we here. We time with our family. Yes. We get to reminisce. Mm. We get to... Just enjoy yeah. this time of the year. The year is fading down. Yeah. Again, we're celebrating Christmas here. And so there's just a lot of emotions and feelings that even in the midst of craziness, this season, specifically for us, it does something to kind of bring you in. And maybe if you listen to this episode, right, it kind of just pulls you back. You feel a little more warm. You feel a little more lovely, a little more kind, a little more giving, right? Um, and so let's just dive in, all right? All so all today, it. right before we record, a few hours before we record this episode, we started, we, we, not we started, we pretty much put up our decorations for Christmas. I had a friend text me. I was like, yeah, we're putting up decorations. You know, we're done now. She's like, you're finished? I said, oh yeah, we don't, we, we're not doing a ton. Yeah. We're not doing a ton you know, of Christmas decorations. we just make the one main room The look living legit. room look nice. That's it. Couple got, of little sprinkles of ooh, Christmas and... Right. That's it. Fireplace. And we may probably wrap around the We fries. may. The little the little porch. Yeah. Little porch. That's it. That's it. That's good enough. That's all we do. We're not even staying here for Christmas. We're not, we're not. We're traveling for Christmas. You know, there's no candy canes in the grass. There's no there's no reindeers on our on our Don't roof. get me wrong, I'm not opposed. No. I, I grew up differently. You you grew talk to the people here, because I don't I didn't I didn't see you growing up. Uh like South Dallas growing up? No. Oh, no, Garland. Like, oh, I bought my own house. I live in the suburbs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, we had like all kind of random stuff. Outside the house. We had stuff on the windows. We had oh. reindeers for years. We reindeers had... in the lawn? Mm-hmm. I so we did this, lawn y'all. work, but we didn't do roof work. That's another level. That's yeah. another level. And I'm okay with that. I'm I'm willing to to meet. I'm willing to do it all if it... What? I just, it's just so much time, and I was just like in the middle of work, and... I just, 
I need some more freedom in my life to give mm. to such a. Uh, a, a you was out here on the lawn like that. Yeah, we had reindeers galore. Then we had like oh. Santas, and yeah, we did all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we out here learning. <laughs> we out here learning, but never the roof. Never the roof. Never the roof. Who my you dad know, was like one? Who, who, who I'm finna pay, and I ain't getting a pay. <laughs> so you know, Katoya, two houses growing up, sixteen. You know what? That's not even true. We used what? to do icicle lights. <laughs> Wow, guys, I'm floored. <laughs> I'm floored. Yeah, we did icicle uh-huh. lights for years. I don't know who did them, but huh? So I guess my dad did, and my brothers. Wow. Yeah. So we definitely, yeah, we well, did. Shout out to y'all, the highs. That's because they bought a house, and they were like, "Man, we got to step." Well, in. you also went to the, you know, you went to the suburbs, and I would assume that many were other were doing it big with decorations too, right? Yeah. There's a little bit of peer pressure it <laughs> is as true. a homeowner. Oh, 100%. In a, right? I think so. I would love Depending to. On your and I think like in time we might get there too. Sure. Yeah. But it's not... like right now it's like a wreath is on the door. Yes. And an in living room. And then maybe some lights room. in the dining yes. room. There's a tree. Right. And we'll feel warm and yes. great together. Feel warm, we'll great. Do... The lights will be on. Yeah. The music is playing. So you're going to feel good. We get those scented candles that kind of make that, those certain smells that make it feel good when you walk Cypress. in. Yeah. But 16 different apartments growing up with my family and my brothers. We. <laughs> We had we had a tree like the week before Christmas, uh, and we you know that was it. So so that muscle right that tradition that experience I didn't have growing up. You go to college, you become an adult, you know. So right now where we are as the summers, I feel good with, but I am definitely open to doing more as you know we move on with it. But our tree is up now. Our tree is up now. We put it up as we're recording this. This is the Sunday after Thanksgiving as we're recording this. The tree is up today. And one thing that went viral online was when do you take the tree down? And I'm going to be honest with you. My mindset, and we've shared last year, if you listen to the Christmas episodes last year, like once Christmas is over, that 25th, you really got a few more days to me where the season is, is a wrap. Like I don't like to really personally bring Christmas stuff into the next year, right? So the tree, if we're feeling good before that school year starts, kids go back to school, right? Resolutions popping. We in the gym again. The tree's down, but many people I saw, and I told you before we started recording, have had their tree up. Not many people. A, f- a few. I mean, in the comments, like affirming them, a like lot of all people. year. Well, this is it's like seven hundred million people in this world, so I'm gonna say it, a few had it up all year, people. Now, I, I've never heard of this. I don't. This is some new age Gen Z millennial stuff. It's the same way I like Thanksgiving dinner. Mm. I like Thanksgiving dinner in all its glory for the most part for Thanksgiving. Mm. And it's it feels good. Feels it's good. harmonizing. It's unifying. Yep. And then it's over. Done. And to me, it's over in like two days. Like Katoya, I, I, she, she put it tight. It's a tight two I'm to like, three business days. It's a 48 hour window. I'm no longer trying to eat this. And we started days. on Wednesday night. So yeah. she was like, no, let's shut this down. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to now make steak and eggs. I'm trying to now eat. Uh, I'm now trying to make barbecue with the sides. Y'all want wings and fried (laughs) rice? That's the way I see the Christmas tree. Mm. It's like, I I agree with you. I don't want to take it into the new year. So, Now, the one one reason why people did it was they took everything off. To be clear, they took all the lights off, all the ornaments off, and then it was just greenery. No. It was just a plant. No. Air quotes if you're not watching us on YouTube. It is the most unique. (laughs) Shaped. It is the most, this belongs to this holiday type yeah. of tree. You got to move furniture around. Honest, yeah. To be honest, if like the, um, what is the Christmas tree? A, uh. Oh, uh, we mean like what type of tree yeah. is it? Yeah. It ain't, it ain't Christmas? No. Damn it. <laughs> what it is that tree called? There's a spe- you know, that's a good question. A Christmas tree, yeah. I've never known what type of tree <laughs> a Christmas tree. Well, when I grew up, you know, we, on a, we, we didn't talk about this last year. I grew up a little bit, maybe. I grew up with not real trees. Katoya, Craig Mifron, off and on, or was it mostly real? Mostly real trees fell growing up? Uh, yeah, we had real trees. Right? And so Until I've never thought... Go ahead. We had, a, we had a half and half time. Half and half time. Yeah. Okay. As we got older, the trees got back. So I never so I never even knew it was a real tree. Yeah. I always a, thought it's it was. It's an actual... I think was it's, it? It's F-I-R. F-I... Which F- I think is fur. Fear. Fur. Mm. Oh, y'all. Oh, F-I-R. I know, I'm sorry. Fear. I don't really use it. That'd be this. fear. Fear tree. Yeah. Fear, fear, Ooh, Ooh, English language. Sorry, guys, we could be wrong. Fur. Uh, it's probably Let a it, whole song with it. Uh, <laughs> so we've got even on stand with trees. So you listen to the pronunciation live on the air here. Hold on. Um, give it to him. 
Talk to the people. Oh, it sounds like fur. So it's like a fur tree. But it's it actually F-I-R. like played on the Alexa in the other room. Fire. So yeah, it's a fur tree. It's a fur tree. Um. So, so yeah. it's just it's it's already belonging to Christmas alone. Like if yeah. I if I ever see those trees anywhere, it's anywhere else. Oh, look at these Christmas trees. But they are fur trees, so I'm sure they're located in other you know natural. That'd be so funny. You go to North Dakota. It's and just, just fur a whole... trees. Like man, it's Christmas. It's springtime. Huh? So it's I don't June. know. We don't know much about plants. <laughs> All that to say that you know. No thanks. Yes, no thanks. So no we're thanks. intrigued. What do you think about keeping when? your fur tree? And like, seriously, you cannot keep that up if it's artificial. Like, I no, no, no. It has to be real. But you then take it can care only it. probably like last for so long. Yeah, I don't no, even no. know. Yeah, anyway. But hey, happen. you know what? Hey, more power to, to you. you. Just don't let it be because of laziness. Because that definitely happened in my family. We would go beyond. You know, New Year's Day because nobody wanted to really put it away. It's worked. And we had a big tree because we did. had like really tall ceilings. Yep. Like, I don't even know. Like nine feet. Oh, beyond that. Oh. Like nine. the living room. You know, the living room. 12, 12 feet. It's almost like 12, 20 feet. feet. Like it's, it goes all the way up to the second floor. It's just an open floor. Okay. Yeah. So it's at least like, it's really tall. So we feet. had like a 20, we had like a nine, 10 foot tree. Yeah, and oh gosh, it was so much. So work. much. It was, and then my yeah, mom. I did big decorations. She did. She, she did loves, the she whole loves, table. Loves, yeah, she loves that kind of stuff. Yeah. See, I don't love that kind of stuff, so I just like to add in a little bits of gold, red, and let's talk about that <laughs> wording. No way. So, so you so just hit the lights. So we got our lights. We got our lights up, and lighting specifically is always a big thing when you drive around in neighborhoods, yeah, right? Yeah, I love to go. To so what type of invest in that? So what type of lighting color scheme that y'all do? And are we a fan of now? Oh, Lord. Lighting. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, man. This makes me think like my grandma's house. She's having rainbow trees. Uh, oh, gosh. We're not, a, we're, we're not a rainbow family. Let me In tell you. To Christmas let me lighting. tell you. Next year, I'm going to do a rainbow tree. Because you know who would love to see that rainbow tree? Who? Those girls. Oh. They be oh, my gosh. This tree is so beautiful. <sighs> it's Ooh. red, blue, yellow, purple. Ooh. Make my stomach hurt. Yeah. I'm a, you know. No. Hmm? Put one in their room. Ah, there and it is. And then they can exchange gifts. Oh, there to it is. Come on. I'm not a fan of color trees. We're not a big fan we of the We used to have themed Christmas trees. So every, my mom, we used to have so much stuff. Oh, It'd be like a up. purple and gold tree. And then we'd have like the next year, like a peach and silver tree. Wow. Yes. So we would have to get oh, new ornaments for that. Yeah. Wow. It'd be like a themed Christmas. <laughs> it's like the Instagram reel. Wow. Yeah, wow. we really did that. Wow. I know. Wow. And you know, I mean, are we wow. into... We, wow. We're, we're not even talking about traditions. So not much. yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, go ahead. Let me go ahead. Hit the people. Well, one What's main thing. We, I think we talked about it on the last time, but we video recorded every Christmas. Oh, yeah. Camp Porter. I've heard that before. You're talking about that just Boy, sit general. that up. <laughs> sit that up. Tripod. I don't know why. That, I just like... I guess it was just like sheer excitement to see the children and so excited. You're 35 now. Mm-hmm. In hindsight, how many times have y'all sat down? Can you think of Multiple. watching it? Okay, okay. Multiple. Solid then. That's good. That's yeah, a good we look. We were definitely a let's look back at let's these look back. long videos type of family. Okay, that's what's up. Like during the Christmas season or like in July? No, like May. years later. No, I'm saying, but like, would you only do it, watch a Christmas? Oh, I don't know the season. A, I say, okay. But even still, you watched it. This is that's actually cool. really sweet. Makes me really think about like what? family traditions that I don't even remember. You know, that I didn't really, that I took for granted. Sure. You know? To watch yourself as a five-year-old and watch your your younger brother and your older brother and your mom and dad younger, right? Like, it's, there is, there's something about this holiday season. And I think holiday is appropriate. Like, when these, these last few holidays come, like, no disrespect to Halloween, but when November 1 hits and all the, we don't know all of them, but when the various holidays hit from November through December, it just does something to yeah, like it just does something to us, I think, as people, right? It's and so, warm. it's a warm right? Feeling. There's a warm feeling to it, you know. Right. And you talked about right with ornaments, right? So y'all had y'all were doing different themes. That's already unique to me, mm-hmm. uh, because I like so we put up ornaments. I mean, we're intrigued on what type of ornaments maybe you like. Like, do you get very like? Is it really standard? You're just like balls and angels and stars, like because we have. We've got um people. We've got some of our kids. I think they made a school on our tree type of ornaments. We've got old. We have faces like Katoya has a, a baby picture up of her. Who else got a baby picture of her? You don't know one. Me and all the kids, not a baby picture, but we all have. You got a young kid. Like you got a young pre kid. Pre yeah, like a, t- a little yeah. kid picture. Yeah. Right. 
I'm not one without a kid uh-huh. picture. We say we go. I just I told you we got a picture. Why well, that picture's huge? Well, it makes you sense that she didn't have like y'all didn't do a lot of that. We didn't. We didn't so that's do that. That's why you don't have it. We didn't do that at all. <laughs> 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 I literally took my little gingerbread man from pre-K. Yeah. It's still you know? intact. Is there an ornament that comes to mind, present tense or past tense, that you were like you either loved or you're like I don't want this on my tree. No, because we had a banana last year on the tree, and you were fine with that? That's his banana. So <laughs> that is one tradition that we started is that, you know, to kind of recycle. I like unique ornaments okay. on the tree. I like, like, a few solid balls. Solids. And then just, like, your little round, red, yeah, green, classics. gold. And then I like Color. to have all kind of random stuff on there. Mm. Then. So anything Christmas-related. So every year they get to choose, you know, their own ornament. Yeah. Um, And so... You know, that kind of subs out and that's a memory for them. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh. And now they're just, the mission remembers his, but the girls don't really, they're like, oh, I was a bird. Yeah, you chose a bird. You was a bird. It ain't nothing special. It's just anywhere we go, you get to choose this ornament for this year. This yeah. is like your ornament. But I think we do a better job, like putting like a little tab on it, like this was Leo 2019. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. So that you can kind of remember, because that is kind of sweet. You get that box when it's all yep. said and done. Up the and attic. like, bam, oh my gosh, my yeah. mom died, you know, and you remember to. <laughs> <laughs> Monday. Yeah, we love you. I'm always reaching for that moment. Oh. When I die, though, what y'all gonna remember? <laughs> she does. What y'all gonna she remember? She reached for that. I already told you. You want me on the fireplace. But listen, what matters most is the memories that you make. Uh, and ornaments is another way to do that. Let us know. If you're not following us on Instagram, we're gonna put this up when this episode drops. What is a special memory or, or ornament specifically in the past or present? Maybe you still got it. Maybe you got it from your family's house. I, and we would love to see that. We'll put a, a, a we'll put a few of ours on on Instagram. Sum it up, Sumners. Sum it up, Sumners. Follow us on Instagram. We'll show a few of ours off right there. But we're gonna get into some more. But we're gonna take a quick sponsor break. So I don't really love to cook as the primary cook in this family. However, what I do like is to jazz up the meals when I do cook, right? I'm looking for spices, seasons, dry rubs, and I found a good place. It is artisan dry goods made by beautiful briny sea. So a little bit of everything to spice up jazz up your meal that it is a local uh store right here in atlanta but ready to ship out to you all over the world absolutely and they're legit i'm gonna be honest with you here forbes the tonight show with jimmy fallon and oprah's magazine and you know you know oprah only gonna promote the good stuff all right (laughs) so check them out instagram beautiful briny sea make your kitchen better all right i'm talking about real good ingredients mm. urban gardens local farms mm. so it's good for your taste buds good for your body check them out and let's get to the episode all right we're back we're talking right on continuing these this nostalgia this heartwarming feel for christmas <clears throat> i didn't ask you damon though but what do you have a special ornament uh all i had was growing up you know was we had a a little box, a little like a uh, just classic box, you know, with a little ribbon on top, and it was like velvety. I think it was velvety, you know, as a kid. Little I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, so it was just nice. We put that on the tree a few years. It was red, nothing crazy. We just knew that was kind of because it was kind of that traditional standard, the balls, you know, the circles. But then you had this little velvety uh, gift box, and it was like nice. But oh, otherwise, yeah, we kept it very standard when it came to decor. Again, sixteen apartments. You're not doing much outside the house. And then have we had really stockings. Your, have you reminded your mama that it was 16 apartments? It could be more. I mean, once I went to college, you know, they moved around a few times before she got married again. So, um, it's crazy. It's really crazy. So, She's superwoman. Um, something strange. Oh, so, <laughs> get in there. Get in there. We bought these birds and butterflies for the girls one year. We so, did. like one year, you know, every, I think Liv was the butterfly. My mom came. Or my parents came for Christmas this year, or whatever year this was. And so, Grimsley got a little brown bird. I'm a gold bird. Ever was like some other little oh, yeah, bird. Yeah, yeah. And Liv is this butterfly. Mm-hmm. And so, I was explaining to them, reminding them. They were like, oh, who am I? So, they're all putting their little thing in. And then at the end, she's like, don't forget Grimsley. It's like this brown bird. We gotta put Gramsci up, up there. there. But I actually thought it was really sweet. I was like, what if we have like something? Mm. It made me think about my grandparents. Uh, both mm. of our grandparents, all of our grandparents, are have passed away. Mm. Um, and so I was like, that's a real sweet way to 
give an ornament mm-hmm. for our grandparents sure, to sure, put sure. on our tree yeah, yeah, yeah. because she was very serious like that is Gramsci. Put her up. Like, you, we we leave in Gramsci y'all. Put her up. <laughs> so I was like that that's a real that's something sweet yeah. to do. You yeah. know small little traditions and I mean I'm talking about ornaments y'all are probably putting up lights and Hanging, you got stories to tell about dad falling off the roof or whatever. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Always okay. Um, Always okay. But I just think it's traditions are are made are are fun and important, and I don't sit and pause enough. And so to think about mm. like my house was like legit a Christmas house was uh it's very funny to yeah. like, think back on. I like that. I like that. We'll talk more about that. I think that'd be dope. Uh, get them up there on that tree for sure. Yeah. Well, keeping in line with traditions, um, food. Food is something that, you know, especially with bigger traditions, you know, there's usually either a very kind of standard menu, right? We think Thanksgiving, we've kind of shared about that a few episodes ago. Um, but Christmas is something, we've had this conversation off air a few times with people. And I know I had it with some few close friends and I was rocked about people's Christmas menu. So... I think we could say that growing up, correct mm-hmm. me if I'm wrong here, Running that back. you pretty much were going to have the same or very similar menu for Christmas as you were in Thanksgiving. Same. We're talking about the highs same. and the Smith Sumner family, same. right? Now, in the past, if we could stay, you can't, is there anything remotely like this was different growing up from Thanksgiving to Christmas? I can say nothing. No. I can't think of a single dessert wise? on no. the food wise. Legit. I nothing. can't think of a dessert that was different. No, we didn't even I- try like some like <laughs> honey roasted. I don't right? know. Right? We literally ate the same thing again. So, present tense, now that the Sumners are here. Sumners are here, and I'm saying absolutely it, not. I don't want anything to do with Thanksgiving. I think there's something, <laughs> I think there's something that we've been trying to be, especially when we do things here at our house. Yeah. Right? Because when you go home. Oh, I know. And so, you know, we're going to try to put a little bit in that when we go to Missouri this year for Christmas with the family here. We're going to try to put our fingerprint on a little bit. My mom right? was like... But, Y'all can be in charge of the menu, but we do need to have some staple items for those who want it more traditional. <laughs> and I was like, all right, you make them. We're going to figure out this other stuff. You know, and so pretty much, we're going to get into too much the whole menu, but like pretty much whatever you know traditionally for Thanksgiving, um, dressing, greens, collars, the big sides, whatever, right? Some main meat. That's what we had growing up for Thanksgiving. Like, I, I'm really intrigued on how different, how different was your menu, right? Or past or present tense of Thanksgiving to Christmas. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to think back to one thing, how we did things differently. I don't know if we ever did it. We've talked about wanting to have Mexican cuisine for like one of these family. others. We've talked about this for us. Oh, we you had better training last year. Thank you. I was like, what was it last year? <laughs> right? Because it was the Zoom 2020, right? The beginning of the pandemic. Well, yes, it was. It was the beginning of the pandemic and last Christmas. No, I'm saying that was the first year of it. Oh. 2020. Yes, that's what I mean. Um, but... Right, I was I couldn't remember what the cuisine yeah, was. We did Mediterranean last year. It was we delicious. did. And so I'm feeling I'm feeling tamales. I'm feeling the Mexican. I think the Mexican cuisine, cuisine would be dope. Yeah. And we'll give them a little pan of dressing for the older folks who want it. Whatever. I mean, I they love get, dressing. Cook that tomorrow. The, the day before. The, That's Christmas Eve. Christmas. I like that. I mean, we gotta get like small, no extras. Whatever. Because I don't need I don't need my enchiladas over here running on my yams. Ooh, can you? Ooh, that sounds so good. I think good. it's so funny that you're like, hey, I want to eat this other cuisine. Because yeah. I, I actually saw um, a, maybe an Asian American woman mm. show her Thanksgiving meal. Okay. And it had some elements of traditional Thanksgiving, but then it had like rice yeah. and dumplings. Yeah. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. That's normal to y'all. Like, it's just about a feast, right? That's it. It's just like American cuisine anyway. That's it. Our food sucks. It- <laughs> what is American cuisine? we got hamburgers and hot dogs. What, that's all we got. What else we got? Nachos. Well, I guess dressing. Nachos turkey, and us. Mac and cheese. <laughs> so maybe that's all pretty standard. That's all American Italian. Stuff. If it's a noodle, it's that's a not fair Italian. To say, no. You can't do it. It's got to be some bread here. No, it's Wisconsin be, bread. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. That's now. I think that might be why we are eating such Thanksgiving dinners because oh, that's like man. our American tradition. So I had a friend. I was like, Yo, what did y'all have? You know. Because of me, friend of the podcast, uh, 4th and 10, David Perdue, Nathan Owens. We were talking about, yeah, it's pretty similar. And then the other uh, host, Dan Duncan, he was like, oh, it was not the same at all. We had beef tenderloin. Uh, we had steak, which I didn't eat really steak in my life growing up uh, in general. And then they had all these other, like, ran- not random, but, like, just different sides. I was like, oh, that's totally different. So, like, I'm, we're just intrigued on, like, what was... 
we think we think about Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. What's that menu look like? How similar and how different is it? Uh, be expecting that over on Instagram as well. Um, because I'm just really intrigued about it. I think the let's do that. Let's do let's hold to the Mexican cuisine this Christmas 2021. I'm excited. To my gotta find a tamale lady, that's for sure. Uh, let's keep going here. Stand in line. Hey, taco. Oh, boy. Ooh, Carne some cilantro, asada with some cilantro onions. and onions. Ooh, little green sauce. Little food. corn tortillas. Yes. That's right. what I'm talking about. I eat that. I can eat that every day. That's true. We could definitely <laughs> eat that every day. We definitely could. Um, like, so when you talk about right traditions, right, there's also just your mind starts flooding with memories. Yeah. Right. And so if you're thinking about this holiday season, you're thinking about just memories and laughs and just you know, gifts or traditions or whatever comes to your mind, snuggling up on Christmas Eve with eight cousins. You know, whatever memories <laughs> come. Up with eight cousins. You didn't you didn't make the palace with cousins? You didn't Oh, that was a thing. That was a thing. I also didn't so, share Christmas with cousins. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That was it was a, more a of a meeting. family thing. Okay. And then we like went over to Medea's. I got you. I got you. And everybody kinda did that on their own time, but but Christmas was definitely a more immediate family mm, yeah uh, type of thing sure 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 and grandparents right so i would do, do it at home uh -huh. then we'd go to our grandparents house got it got it, got it got it got it right so memories in general even yeah. that's a dope thing here to go to your grandparents after after, after opening after gifts. Open our gifts got yeah. it right so I, i'll go first here let you ponder for a second here but when you talk about christmas memories pop up and one of my favorite christmas memories what you got uh let me be very clear disclaimer this was not a good day for us in the moment. <laughs> I laugh now we in all hindsight. Now. This is such a good okay? story. And so, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put this in two minutes here. And so, single mom, three boys, apartment. I'm the oldest of three boys. Let's say I'm uh, let's say I'm 12 in this story because I think everybody's going to be a good age. So, I'm 12. My middle brother is eight, which means my youngest brother is like six, right? So, we know. We're all aware of the holiday. Mom's working hard. There's three boxes, three different sizes under the tree. There's a large box. There's a medium box. There's a small box, right? <clears throat> so let the youngest brother open that gift first. He hype, right? Let's go, Darius. Let's go. He opened it up. Rip, 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 rip. It's a boom box, right? 1990s. We hype. Oh, we high five. We chest bump. Let's go. Mind you, we stay in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment here. Three boys in one room. Mom got her own room, right? So we hype. Middle brother walk up. Demetrius, he pull up. Yellow skin in this thing here. Medium box, right? He open it up. Rip, 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 rip. It's a stereo. We like, oh! Is there a difference between a boom box and a stereo? Right? No, I just like to use different words and stories. <laughs> and, so, and so we hype. We like, yeah! Boom box and a stereo. That's what's up, right? We high five. We bumping. We ready to go. Oldest, walk in. Here we go. I'm ready to <laughs> I go. Only, how many I, gifts three boxes. <laughs> small, medium, and large. Biggest box for me. The oldest, right? I wink at my mom. She know what's up. Ooh. I rip that box open. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a boom box. <laughs> and they go, Ooh. oh. Ooh. That's hot. <laughs> High five, fist bump, Ooh. and my mom over there. It's good, ain't it? It's good, ain't it? Y'all happy? And we were happy and Ooh. grateful that we had three stereos <laughs> in the same room that year. I think that you should tell mission and <laughs> and every <Everton's> story. <laughs> and we were grateful because you know mom works hard. Mm -hmm. And we just, we never, we could never maximize the playing of them. Because everybody was trying to. Did they come with headphones? No, we didn't have no headphones. What? That's what they should have came No. So yeah, we were trying to listen. We were trying to have our own. We tried everybody being in that bed real low, right? Ooh. And then eventually I gave mine to my mom because I was like, this doesn't, this isn't necessary. And that's one of my favorite memories in hindsight. In hindsight. In hindsight. I think, you know, listen, shout out to parents. Shout out to single parents specifically. Trying to hold it down to bring joy to their kids. That's true. And I, I don't, I don't, as a parent, I don't take light of that moment because the joy on her face to see us open our gifts was, she was ecstatic. And that's something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. <laughs> Ever. I so, just, I've been processing my own internal, I've just been processing this whole second half of us recording. 
<laughs> about my life. <laughs> Thinking. I don't I don't have some grand memory, but I'm almost certain mm. we would not have responded so kindly. We would have been like, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here, guys? Um, I remember abundant, satisfying Christmases. Mm. My parents were very gift-giving for Christmas. Mm. Mm. I don't think I got a ton throughout the year, and I kind of hold that same philosophy. I mean, they get what they need throughout the year. Mm. But you're really looking forward to gifts on Christmas and your birthday, you know? Sure, so, sure. Um, but it was you. You felt in hindsight, you like this was this was a good. I always had Christmas. a good Christmas. I think. Yeah, I, I, y'all, my memory is just it's, it's different. Yeah, it's, it's different. It, it gets. It has to be like jogged. Um, but this actually jogs internal conflict for me, so mm-hmm. that's not quite the jog we were going for. <laughs> but it did jog. Like I'm grateful. Like I had yeah. such. You know, <clears throat> like my parents did really. You know, try to make our Christmas something to be looked forward to for gifts. Um, yeah. It was, it, we, we didn't do any service projects or, you know, anything like that, but it was definitely a, a family fun, you know, gift given. And then um, we always had the trash bags. Trash bags. Just throw all the paper away. Oh, oh okay. The video recorder. Okay. And then the day is done. Yeah. And then everybody just goes and yeah. plays with their things. Like That's until it. we go over to a grandparents' house. Like I, those are like the biggest things that I do remember. I do remember when you were receiving my Dolly Surprise. Excuse me? What is it? A Dolly Surprise. Oh, Dolly Surprise. What is yeah, that? Yeah, you would like crank her or press a button and her hair would grow. Mm. So she just kind of had like never ended in mm. hair. Dolly Parton? Dolly Surprise. It was a little black girl. Oh, okay. I think she was black. Oh. It's been a minute. Been a minute. Dolly Surprise. Dolly Surprise. I had wanted that Dolly Surprise uh. and I got a Dolly Surprise. Got it. My heart was warm for mm. Dolly Surprise. Look at that. Wasn't a Cabbage Patch kid no. or anything like that. Barbies. I did love Barbies. Okay. You had an era of Barbies. Oh, yeah. You had I an era of Barbies. I never had a dollhouse. Gannon had that kind of stuff. Gannon's our cousin. <laughs> One of our cousins. <laughs> but we played together. Together. <laughs> Bring your Barbies uh, over to this mm-hmm. dollhouse. You had a Ken. Oh, I had tons of Ken. You had tons of Ken. I had Ken dolls. Barbie dolls. Plural. Black dolls. Wow. I had all kind of dolls. Huh. Did that, that's a girl thing. Uh, sure. I, I mean, just... I had like 20 dolls or more. Wow. 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 Yep. It's like boys in race cars. But our girls are not into dolls. So, um, no, not really. Well, not we just that. gave away all the LOL dolls. I'm yeah. so glad that's over. Go through different phases, man. Yeah. Go through phases. I mean, they had the big, you know, the the, the Disney princess dresses dot phase, yeah. right? That was like a good year and a half. I've had this handed down, which is you so know? great. Yeah. Hand that stuff on over. Hand it over. If it's in good use, stuff like that. Because yeah, kids go in and out of phases. Definitely. I know I did. You definitely did. And that's the saddest thing about gift giving um, for to see for your children. Like, oh. Ah! Yeah. And then like, okay, I'm out. Yeah. Look, he gave it to his mama. She was so excited to see you with the yes. stereo. And then he was like, here, mama. She was so happy. <laughs> I mean, she used it a lot more than me. <laughs> but she she might, was like, she, we already got two. Yeah. We were good. <laughs> In the room. They were good. Yeah. Here you go. So there we, is something. We can't even listen to the radio, really. Like, you're so. excited for the children to open them. And yes. I was excited as a child. But that stuff just gets so old so quickly. So mm-hmm. I think it's, you know, again, going back to that warmth, that it feels good. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Something new. You feel loved. Those you memories. Know? Just I remember sleeping with my brothers on the floor. Making a pallet on the floor with all the cover, just sleeping together. We stayed in, a, we were in the same room regardless, but just Change being clo- be close together, <laughs> right? We put the cookies so out, sweet. you know, the little milk out for Santa. We knew it was mom, Y'all did but that? We, yeah, we knew it was mom, but it was just, yeah, it was just cookies? a. Y'all didn't bake no cookies. You just put all some yeah, now we got some chips or yeah, definitely some chips or <laughs> some whole milk. We were a whole milk family back in the nineties, <laughs> and so. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like but stump, just right? being close and then you wake up early, which is probably one of the big reasons why I feel the way I feel about being at home for Christmas. Those memories resonate with me, right? Mm. So, anyway, those memories are something that we hold on to and we get excited about during this time of the year. And, we, you know, we want to hear about your memories, too, because this is a time of year for storytelling. Like, just to hear about what other people like to talk about that Asian American, just with the, the menu and just all this time, it brings about joy to get a chance to share with others. So... This is what you're going to get, all right? You're going to get this right here. You're going to get this next week, too. And we're going to talk about some more different things here because this also kind of just is around in the air, right? When the <laughs> holidays come, like when you go to the store, what's on TV, the movies, the you put the radio station on. It's like, oh, all right, here we go. Chris Brown got a new Christmas hit, right? Beeps. What? Poof. 
grande. We ain't got time. We'll talk about it another time here. We're going to get out of here. All right? This was good. Hope this brought some joy, some giggles, some value to you. As always, we appreciate y'all listening or watching wherever you are. Damon and Katoya, talk soon. Thank you.